Alright then, so... The Hardware Labs. Now, I note that the Hardware Labs are very interesting me to me because... Um, I'll note that when I first played this game, I basically played up to the Hardware Labs and I stopped playing the game. I'll note basically up to like this point, I wasn't really captivated by the game or anything like that, but after I started playing from the Hardware Labs on, um, things got a little bit more like you know interesting to basically play. Also, um, the Hardware Labs are basically like you know one of like the least like you know explored areas by me, so I may miss a few things, but we'll basically see how it basically goes. Now, before doing anything else, I've got to basically show this basically off. I'll notice basically, like, you know, different screens in this game. Um, basically, you know, you've got, like, the map screen, which, of course, basically, like, you know, dedicates, like, you know, how much you basically explored. you got your objective screen, you got your, like, your inventory screen, and normal mod screen for, like, you know, skills and such. There's also basically the status screen, which basically, like, you know, tells you about, like, you know, your, like, you know, um, stats, like, you know, for, like, you know, your character. So, basically, you can see, like, the time and date, basically, here. Or, you can see it anywhere, but, you know, you basically see, like, you know, um, your radiation and like you know how much like you know uh, typhoon like organisms you basically have in your system, uh, what your basic traumas I guess are going to appear right here, stuff like that. And it's also like you know um, a data screen, which basically has like you know your notes and like emails and everything else basically to go through. So we see like what keys you basically have, what key codes you basically have, what like passwords you basically have, what plans you can basically make, stuff like that, what it basically takes to make the plans and such. Eventually we'll do like research. I'll be getting to that like a little bit, like you know soon, but you know it'll still like a few episodes off before I forget to get to it. Now, what I'm really in here is basically see the stats. So I want to note that basically like you know in this game you're basically grade for like whatever you basically do, and everything you basically do will basically like, you know counter like the score like you basically like you know um will basically like you know have like the end. So basically you see like you know normal installed like zero, human abilities acquired zero, total abilities acquired zero. Uh, we also have like humans can kill like one and mimics kill like 26. And we basically see like you know, other stuff basically kills well. So like you know, fans kill one, poltergeist killed one, tele technopaths killed one, and we kill ball glued free, and all this other stuff basically like you know pop in here. Now I want to by the way, I'm gonna be very like you know. Um, this human's kill stat is going to be very important for me for this run through. I'm basically going to try and like, kill like every single human I basically come across just to uh, like, throw it out there. It's basically for an achievement basically you get in this game. And let's just see here. Let's get this guy basically out. Now how much like durability does this basically have? 34% durability, so that's pretty good durability at least. This guy's going to be very useful against the, the um, Technological foes basically about to face. There's one right there. Basically, these are like corrupted machines in the in the in the place. I'm not this gun's very effective against these guys, so that's why I brought the disruptor gun. Now, note that these guys here, they basically like, you know, give you spare parts and stuff like that if you have like, you know, um, dispatch and stuff like that. You also get like, you know, powerful stuff from as well, so. Lots of good stuff I see we found from them. While I, um, I'm wandering around, I should have the rank on in case there's mimics about, but whatever. There's Forstein's office. A corpse. Hello, corpse. Branches don't de um, degenerate in this game, but you know, it's important to pick them up, I guess, so. If I see him, I'll pick him up. Use cigar. Any emails here? So, you're my hope. Hey, I sent Larson to Demophere to see if I can seek a, bo a bottle of old cider. Join us? 
And demo delay, blah blah, so nothing really important right there, I guess, so whatever. Let's pick this stuff up in here. And yeah, there might be maybe basically all over the place, of course. And of course, stuff exploding out uh, the doors. So I'm always gonna like you know be on be on a lookout for a mimic or two to pop pop out at me. Asteroid farm. That's awesome. Those things basically give you lots of mineral resources. Space elevator, terraform Mars. Up oh, there's that guy down there. We see him, so I saw a mimic too, but whatever. Let's pick that up for now. I'm not bothered, there's like phantoms running around, so I gotta watch out for them as well, but whatever. We'll do the phantoms if you like find them, but whatever. Got you. Now, this is gonna be a very interesting in instance for this game because um, there's basically, as you know, like, you know, some humans still alive, but you know, they have a tendency to basically die as soon as you see them, so. Oh, there's a game being saved right now. So yeah, there's like a human that was alive. Well, now he's dead. And you see like, you know, this guy wandering around here now, so... Let's just, uh... Do this right here. Yeah, of course, just like, you know, fans up here too, right? So, all the different paths you can basically take in this game if you want. We'll deal with those guys later, but, you know, right now let's just go back here for now. There should be a few things to collect here, so... Let's pick up this stuff here, go collect this corpse. Important stuff basically pick up, you know. Key cards. And of course more stuff breaking apart. Nothing new. I want to collect everything I can here, right? So. Oh, there's actually not enough space for this stuff here. You know, think about. I actually don't really need the flowers for, like, you know, the organic material yield. I'll note that in this game, I'll usually find that organics are pretty, like, you know, easy to find, so. When it comes to, like, you know, flowers and stuff like that, I probably don't need to pick them up. 
or like, you know, vamp peels, for example. I could probably, like, you know, ditch this here and not really care about it. Anyhow, let's just move on, I guess. We've already searched around here, I guess, so... Next area. He's, of course, above me, but whatever. So yeah, lemon peel, don't really need this, let's just drop it. We'll drop this banana peel. The broken cooler family has like no resources, so it's like worth it, so you know, still worth it to get. Now I can't remember if I figured like an engineer operator somewhere down here as well, so probably have to kill like another like, you know, um corrupted machine. Alright, security station. We can go in here. Download an area map. So basically now I know like, you know, where everything basically is. So there's like the door, like, you know, I can't get into right over there. It goes basically up to like, you know, floor two, which is like, you know, Director Forcing's office down here. Now I know basically over here is like basically the demonstration stage. And essentially like up here is like the tree and like the medical bay and stuff like that. So I want to like, you know, get up in this like area basically to attack these guys up here if I want, but whatever. Or like over here I think. Lots of stuff to do. Uh, oh yeah, I can unlock the security locker. Let's do that. That'll be useful. And by I can basically find crew here if I want to. So basically like, you know, already found like, you know, some people in like Harbor Lab will find more as we go along. So I'll note that currently in like, you know, Crew Corps apparently sounds alive. And I'm pretty sure like, Crew Corps is alive from here, but whatever. Ooh, science pistol um, ammo fabrication plan. I think I already make myself some pistols, but whatever, that's fine. The weapon upgrade kit. And a pistol again. I'm not that big part of this game is going to be like me like throwing away stuff I don't really need, so. Anything that doesn't have like really good material value, I'm not really going to care about too much. And I'll probably mean like, you know, I'm going to like, you know, eat like stuff like this, for example, so. I have to do that to make room. I probably shouldn't have brought this much food with me, but you know, at the same time, whatever. Whoop! That's not what I want to do. There we go, our pistol. So I guess if I missed the pistol, I had, like, you know, have access to it now. Alright, so he sees me, by the way. But I do have access to a pistol over here, or uh, not a pistol, but you know, this turret here. Toss that around. Eradicator auto turret version 0.7.6 online. I don't think I'm missing anything else in here, by the way, so... Oh, Crow Crow, I guess get that. I can see a phantom over here, by the way, so... I think it's like one of the spots where, like, you know, I could have popped in to kill this guy, so... Where's the Phantom? Although this Phantom, by the way, likes to like, you know, go up and down, so... He's not going to be the easiest creature to basically find. Alright, let's just see here. 
just gonna sign my pistol basically to like you know this free slot for now. What the? Uh, that seemed like a bug of some sort. Somehow that guy was able to shoot for the ceiling, but whatever. Let's see, I'm just gonna think here. Alright, well he damaged the turret there, but while we killed the phantom. You know, at this point, I really just should stop picking up stuff and, like, you know. A lot of the station tech starts here. Lab equipment, special parts requests, prototypes. We should be able to fix your looking glass terminal from Dr. Calvino's workshop. Yeah, so let's go fix my, like, stuff there from, like, you know, earlier on. What I really should be doing at this point is basically, like, going up to, like, you know, um, find a fabricator in this place. There's a fabricator that I can, like, get to. In fact, it's basically over here by the demonstration stage where, I, you know, that first guy, like, got killed, so. That's where I should be headed, I guess. Oh, here's like, you know, where we popped in from this guy, I guess, so. I could have, like, gotten through here, like, you know, to get through here if I want to, but whatever. Oh, here's like a uh, faulty electric column right there. That can zap you if you're not careful, so. Things to watch out for. I saw a mimic. Look at that, I killed a phantom up here, so... This phantom got unlucky. There we go, just kill him. Well, I finally got hit by Mimic, but you know, we got plenty of food basically to eat, so it's fine. Like, literally, I'm just gonna eat some food and. Voila! Fully healed. Alright, well, I really should be looking for basically the de demonstration stake, so. Let's try to remember how to get to it, basically, is the thing. Um. Basically, here's like the train right here, and I guess we actually have to be down below to get to the demonstration stage, so... Hello? Hey, it's Langley. Are you, uh... Is there anything weird going on over there? No, like what? I don't want you to panic. What is going on, Langley? Not sure yet. Security is running all over the place. So... Everyone's still working there? I guess, I don't know. I've been in the lab all day, hang on. I'm looking now. I don't... What was that? Oh my god, I think we just lost two labs. What? Ugh, I have to go. Alright, here's where I need to go, by the way. So I know this guy's basically still down here, to, uh, like, you know, the name Phantom. Can't really see him, but you know, he's down here somewhere. There he is. Uh, uh. Do we make that? Can 
the flowers. Now there's also a recycler down here that I want to basically get to, and it looks like it's damaged, so I won't be able to use it. So that sucks, but well. Alright, there we go. Killed him with the wrench. I'm not probably like you don't want to go up and, you know, to million phantoms like this, but you know. I'm feeling a little bit reckless, because why not? I got the, like, you know, the good, so to speak. Oh, good, this is actually useful. So, Unlop Bear is going to start, like, using this basically to recycle stuff, basically, find this level. So, Unlop basically is sometimes a final if these recyclers are going to be broken, but in this case, this was a, this one isn't, so. I'm going to start shoving stuff, basically, into it to, like, you know, turn it into, like, you know, resources for, like, later. I can start picking up stuff I'm like, you know, gonna keep, I guess, as well. Uh, let's just have that stuff a little bit. Yeah, this is gonna be like, you know, fun, isn't it? Just watch me just like, you know, constantly eat stuff as like, you know. I heal back up. I'm not by the way if I was playing like a, a normal run, I probably won't have to worry about this like so much, but you know. I'm not playing this normally, I guess, so. Ooh! There's another Hunter's Bullcaster here. Well, we're gonna establish one of these, I guess, so that's fine. See, I probably like this Hunter's, ball, Hunter's Ballcrest because it's going to be useful for this area. And apparently these things don't have durability on them, so that's nice to see. So let's just go in here. It's going to drop everything in here. We'll drop this one in there. There'll be more put in there for sure, so. Pick up that stuff. Now, note up here is basically where, like, you know, we were seeing, like, the fight between the guys. Like, you know, the human and the, um, the phantom. So here's this glue, glue gun. It's actually in better shape than mine, so... I think we're going to keep this glue gun for sure. I mean, mine was basically like, you know, running low, low in integrity, so... Dr. Thorstein, where are you? Machine shop, I was just... I, I heard an explosion. Forget that. Grab whatever you can and get to my office. We're evacuating. What? What should I... Neuromods. Exotic material. Just hurry. Meet me in my office. Yes, sir. And bring a glue gun. Well, he tried to get out, but he failed. No science pistol. I'll see which one's in better shape and I'll like, salvage one of them, I think. I'll note that big part of this game is going to be like, you know, salvaging stuff to like, you know, use for later, so... Let's put this stuff in here. Actually, both are 25% these, like, guns, so... Oh, well. I know the pistols are, uh, like, a dumb dozen in this place, so we're just gonna, like, throw this in here and not worry about it. Basically, in this game, you're gonna find, like, certain, like, weapons are, like, you know, pretty plentiful, so... You shouldn't have, a, like, a problem finding, like, a wrench, like, you know, every so often. There's a Nermod you basically have, by the way. Now, I know, by the way, the first time I went in here, like, to play this game, I didn't know about the fabricator being down there, so I was constantly like, going back and forth out of this area and back to, like, you know, like, the, um, the office where, like, you know, uh, Morgan basically has, like, you know, his fabricator. That's not a good idea to basically do because stuff does respawn in this game to throw it out there. So, um, I know basically a lot of stuff I'm basically doing here. I'm not trying to like, you know, conserve stuff because I know if I like conserve and come back, is this going to be like, you know, painful basically to do so? 
basically you don't want to like you know leave stuff behind and like you know go to like another area and come back because it'll just cause stuff to respawn most of the time so yeah book right there don't care There's a mecha here. Let's take that. We'll be coming over here in a moment, by the way, because this is going to be a very special instance over here, but you know. There'll be stuff to do here, basically. Another corpse. There's a key card. And recyclers. So there's like the thing to the ballistic lab. I'll go there in a moment, plus it's like, you know, salvage my cannon and, you know, come back to it. And yeah, I'm gonna do this a lot by just like, you know, back and forth, back and forth salvaging stuff because. Well, I'm going to basically need the resources for later on, just to throw it out there. Resources are important in this game, by the way, to, like, do stuff, and... Especially when I have, like, the, like, you know, real-life, like, you know, mechanics, like, you know, auction loss and, like, you know, traumas and stuff like that. Um, I, I expect what's gonna happen, I'm gonna have to use a lot of resources, basically, to, like, you know, make healing items and stuff like that, to, like, you know, keep going. Uh, let's throw stuff in here. You know, side pop was cool, but I'm not gonna use, like, side-out mucks, so let's just throw this in here as well. You know, I'm trying to throw the Nirmai's in here as well, but I'm actually going to keep these around for, like, you know, um, a special episode later on, I think. We're going to actually, like, you know, show off, like, uh, powers. Just, like, sort of, like, an off episode for it. I should probably reload this. I'll note, by the way, that, like, you know, glue gun was unloaded because he actually used it to, like, fire people. Like, you know, he actually, like, glued, like, the path upward. I went the wrong way. Let's go up to the ballistics lab. Those things. I'll note the ballistics lab is very interesting because basically you'll have like, you know, a couple of mimics basically trapped in a, a box, so to speak. Let's take that. Reach fail safe. A safe, of course, because you know we love our safes. Now, note this is basically like you know telling a bit about recycling. So, if you recycle a crate, you'll get like you know two blue and one, and one uh, red. If you recycle a box, you'll get three blue and one green. Ooh, recycle charge, awesome. I'll note this is basically where you get to demonstrate the recycle charges. So. This is basically like the place where you like learn about what recycle charges do, or like what it's intended to be, like you know where you learn about it. You know room? Okay. Actually I got room and I guess I have to make it, so. There we go. Fully heal up again. So, in Morium, right Hollux. Description. Recycle charge went off. With my foot in range, the organic material that was once part of my meaning is now um, neatly compacted into a spear you see before you. Take heed! I.e. this, this um, like, can be a deadly weapon, so watch out for it. So like material you use here, by the way, so... What you basically like, get from, like, you know, um, like, you know, recycling stuff. Alright, so, this is actually a very interesting, like, you know, test here, by the way. Ballistics Chamber. If you want to, you can open the chamber, but um, let's just uh, release a recycler charge and see what it basically does.
That's what happens to enemies when they get caught by recycled charges, by the way. And you can just open up here a little bit. They've been recycled, those guys. I don't think there's anything really left here, so let's just like read the emails, I guess, and see if there's like, you know, one thing for the key code. So, blah blah. Uh, I was touching recycled charge and something in um, particular happened. I placed the usual source materials in the chamber and set off the charge. Mixed in with the result was something I'd never seen before. A purple, almost organic-like substance. Maybe something contaminated the source material? I'm unsure how to proceed, so I placed the identified material in the safe for now. Basically what happens, they actually recycled like, you know, Mimic and they didn't realize they were like recycling them, so... They got like, you know, Mimic uh, stuff out of them. Blah blah, I've informed you already need to update recycled charge fabrication plan. It just so happens I have a spare plane in my quarters. Remind me before next shift and I'll bring it down. Alright. This is see, I don't see anything over here to like unlock this, so. Don't think I unlocked that just yet, but whatever. There we go. Some mineral material and synthetic material. All I'm good to guess you get. Alright then, so... I'm pretty full and stuff, so maybe I should actually, like, you know, go in and, like, salvage it a little bit, but whatever. Actually, for I salvage it. Calvino probably has a key card. You can locate him, or what's left of him, with the security roster. Yeah, basically, like, you know, this is where you, like, use the security station to discover where, like, you know, people are. By the way, this is like you know, where leverage should be important, because like, you know... How do I get through here without recycle charge? Well, leverage should help you with that. And we'll come back for a moment. Let's just go salvage what I have right here. Isn't it fun watching me salvage stuff? I promise I won't be doing this as much later on in the game, by the way, because like, you know... Um, I'll basically have like enough material like, to make what I basically need. But, you know, until we get to that point, I actually, like, need to have materials basically to make stuff with later on, so. You know, I might as well just do this now. So there's my yields thus far. We have a bunch of mineral materials, some synthetic material, and, like, you know, some art material. I know by the way you go through like a lot of like mineral materials like in this game to like make bolts and stuff, so mineral materials like basically where it's at. Like, you know, they basically have. Oh! So even hit um, by an arc of electricity from uh, an electrical junction, glue temporarily stops the um the arcing electricity long enough, blah blah if you like repair it, but whatever. Well, I accidentally electrocuted myself there, so that's why I was gonna run into electricity by the way. It hurts a lot. You think that it hurt a lot more of like, you know, if I was like stepping on it like I was like, you know, in the normal division, but you know. It's basically if you get hit by like one of those, basically it really hurts. Alright, that's my bad. I went, went, went to the wrong way there, so. Need to think rather than speak, so to speak. You know, I was going to do this at some point, so. There we go. And I have a path over here to this, like, you know, area at some point. We'll be going in there soon, by the way, so I just want to clear it out now. Uh, let's just eat one of these. See, I know that, like, the idea is, like, go to the security station to, like, you know, find where, like, this guy is.
And that's basically over here. Scanning target, no type of material detected. Checking for updates. Servers offline. I don't think you can see where stuff is. Ready to scan. Uh, there's the mimic I killed. So note the idea here is basically to look for Calvino. So he's right here. And that basically lets us, us locate where see where he is. Although basically if you want to get to the team by which like you know find all the people you have to like use a lot, like you know, you have to basically like, you know, use those basically to find like where they are. And in this case he's basically up here, so up we go. Yes, up I go. Let's take that stuff now. Oh, is like the medical area over here, so... When I need it, there's like a medical operator here if I need it. Yeah, you can make medkits now! And more importantly, I have access to an operator here if I basically want them too, but whatever. Let's just, uh... Bring some stuff here. There's a mimic here, by the way. Yeah, you can stun the mimics too, by the way. It's not very effective, but you know, it works. Let's clean this area out here for now, so... Got him. We'll go there in a moment, but whatever. Now, I don't basically can get like a medical operator here to like, you know, heal me up as I need it, so let's just pop one out now. Transstar, you're okay. Diagnosing bruising, abrasions, fatigue. Please. Nothing like this. Please hold still. This will only take a moment. All done. Don't forget to see the face of friends. There's another pistol, because, you know, as I said, they're basically a dime a dozen. Now, I want to know if I like, up here is something very special. So... We're just going to jump up here and go... Get our free Neuromod, because why not? I know if I like, there's a, a smoking ring, and, like, you know, you'll basically like, find, like, you know, any alarms of some of these places, there's going to be, like, you know, Neuromods basically collect, so... Big part of what I want to do is I was just collecting all the stuff as I see it. All right, so over here is where we basically find this, uh, our friend here. That side of the lab was breached. Hard vacuum, no gravity. There's an exterior airlock in the machine shop you could use to reach him. You'll have to upgrade your suit with a propulsion system first. So yeah, basically I've got to upgrade my suit in order like to get like to this guy, but oh well. So yeah, basically have to find his work card, you know, we see it out there, and then like, you know, get access to the shop there. But to do that, we basically have to go to, like, ourselves the Artex Propulsion System Fabrication Plant in Harbor Labs. Now, I'm not sure how long I've been playing, but, um, I was going to do a quick stop here because I just want to, like, you know, check on something. So I'll be right back, possibly, we'll see.